LGM. 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 Welcome back, guys, to another video. We are going to use the brand new, spanking new Pokemon LGM. As you heard the pronunciation, right? That is not at all how I would have said it. So good thing I checked it on, on uh, YouTube. But anyways, guys, welcome back and congratulations to the winners. And if you haven't won, make sure you keep playing. And with the Pokemons, when they pop up just like this, then you just write down their name. And then at the end of the video, put them in in order of appearance in the comments right below for a chance to win one of these swags one of these, and if Pokemon has something like tickets, I usually give them out, just like I gave out 20 tickets for the special event today, for the community today. So guys, thank you for playing, thank you for supporting. So the team today is LGM, and LGM is pretty cool. Um, do I recommend it? Well, it's cheap and gettable, just like my wound. So if you're into that thing, then yeah, otherwise, maybe. The reason why I'm saying this is because it's like Victini. So if you're already powered up a Victini, don't worry about this one. Uh, and Victini is, I think, a little bit better. It's about the same tankiness. It can tank one attack, but that's about it. Uh, and same with Victini. And Victini hits harder, though, and then you swap out. The only difference is that uh, LGM does not have that hard-hitting move. However, it does have Dark Pulse, Psychic, and also Rock Slide. And Rock Slide is very spammy, even with Confusion. And one cool thing is the rock slide can hit heavy, depends on what you're facing against. And I think in Seal Arena, LGM will be very useful. In Go Battle League, it has some play, and it's pretty little. As you guys can see, I think we went, uh, what was it, 7-3 uh, in these sets that I'm going to show you. And it was pretty cool, I liked it. And uh, so, without further ado, let me introduce you to the team. The team is uh, in the lead, I have Jirachi. And then second, in the back, or save swap, we have the one and only that you have already seen, the little guy, which I can't think of its name right now, but it's popping up right here. And then we have, of course, LGM. And guys, so let's get started with this team. All right, guys, so Chirachi right into Vigorot. And Vigorot was the Pokemon that I forgot about. And the reason I forgot about it is because I never played with it, so I never really used it. So yeah, well, anyways, Chirachi into Vigorot, this is pretty good for us. Um, but I'm saving my shield to LGM, as you guys know, but good thing we already got a shield. I'm not gonna shield, and I guarantee you this is a Bulldoze. He built up to it, and Bulldoze will one-shot from this range. Yep, it is Bulldoze, but like I said, I was saving it for LGM. This was my first match with LGM, okay? So I was like, I definitely need two shields, but I'm not gonna shield here either. So I think I made these mistakes. Uh, I should have shielded one of these instead of not shielding both of them, but I thought a Body Slam won't take as much health out, but it actually did. So now, we farm it down, we have energy, and Hypno comes in, and he swaps out right on a charge move, which is fine, because it's Karmori, and we have Rock Slide, so that's perfect, it's just pretty good uh, damage, we can get to a second one, and that's awesome, but the only problem that we have here, of course, is that we have Vigorat in the back. So Vigorat has to be the one that's actually farming down this Karmori, so that's a little tough, All right? So we have two shields though, and he has one. So, I mean, sorry, the Hypno. So, um, Body Slam is good against Hypno, of course, but he has one shield. And, and one, whatever he has, whatever it is at this point, any punch will take us out. If, uh, you know, so this is like a race to the, to the farm down. And now he has one shield and we can get to another Body Slam. We have a shield. So we would technically sit pretty good. It's gonna come down to like a little tiny silver of help of who is winning this one. And we are farming, farming, throwing that body slam, but he's going to probably shield this, obviously, because he has a shield. Yep, and then I tried to swap out on the charge move, and it did not work out. I was so cold. I clicked on it, but it didn't work. But as you can see, it has been pretty laggy. This morning was very laggy, so we survived that. If I would have been able to char uh, swap out right there, then we would have won that. That would have been perfect. But unfortunately, it lagged out, and I couldn't do that. But yeah, this morning was horrible, so I had I lost one match completely, maybe uh, not this one, but the, in the other set, that it just completely frozen, and I was just tapping, 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 nothing happened, and then I, when it finally came back on, I was dead, or fainted, I should say. All right, so this is perfect for us. So it's Chirachi into Victory Ball. This is awesome. And then now, awesome, even better. I'm not even better, but this is perfect. So I'm just gonna throw two Doom Desires, and I hope he's not going to shield that. This do pretty good chip damage. I shouldn't say chip, it's more than chip damage. But now I'm not going to shield this. I'm pretty sure most people don't run Hydro Pump. Yeah, exactly, see? So Ice Beam, which is awesome for me, especially with Chirachi. So I'm not gonna shield, I'm gonna throw another Doom's Desire. 
and going to hit it. Oh yeah. And then he shielded it. So we even got a shield from this. And I have another Doom Desire. Unfortunately, I'm not going to shield because I don't want to waste my shield, even though I was ready with the Doom Desire. But confusion takes longer. So you guys need to like under tap with confusion. And I made that mistake so many times. So if you're using a confusion Pokemon, you have to watch out for the under tapping and over tapping because the graphic takes way longer than a bubble. So it's kind of hard to play against it. But you will get used to it. So Victor Bell comes back in. And Victor Bell is actually only three confusions with uh, uh, what you call it, which is awesome, but it's six razor leaves, so kind of like take it out even. So you can only go in with LGM into Victory Bell if you have a health advantage, otherwise, you're gonna lose, guys. It's pretty crazy, pretty swimmy. And he just quits because, of course, we had the one and only Bastidion. So, guys, if you have been struggling against Bastidion and Azumarill, because that's been pretty common lately, then this is the team go against it. Because Caleb Pang posted the team, and I featured the team as well two or three days ago. Since then, the meta changed to alt areas and back with the Bastidion. See? Another Bastidion. So this team would be actually pretty cool. But instead of, you know, using AdGM or Chirachi, you can use Victini or you can use um, another tank like Ferrothorn or something like that. Or just a Fly or Skarmor itself because of the meta changed a little bit. And But do not use... Uh, I don't think a Toxic Rogue is good right now. If a Toxic Rogue would come in here, it's only two two and a half, I think, confusions, or maybe three, two and a half or three with uh, LGM, which is crazy. It just takes it out like this. So I was hoping I can show you a Toxic Rope. Anyways, so now Growl or coming or whatever you call it, I'm gonna throw a Doom Doom's Desire. I mean, sorry, a Psychic. I think he thinks it's a Doom's Desire um, because most people think that that's what you throw, but nope, it is a Psychic, which is gonna one-shot it from that range. And then now, um, almost was able to get to a Doom's Desire, but this is fine, he doesn't know we have a Vigorath. <laughs> so that was perfect. And now Vigorath has some energy advantage, and all we have to worry about is this Victory Bell. And he doesn't know we have another Confusion users in the back, guys. So this match is, we already won this. He just doesn't know it. He's hoping probably that we have an Osmeril in the back or something, like, or any water, because we have not shown it, and we're staying in with, uh, you know, uh, the one and only Vigorath. But, and he has a, and so all I have to do, <laughs> I just show up like this, and it was gone. That's yeah, pretty cool. LGO, it was fun. Like I said, cheap and gettable. If you're into that thing, then go ahead and go after it, you know? Some people like that. Uh, if you're one of those, no problem. You know, no no judgment or nothing. It's, it's good. I like it too. Yeah, it's great. So, next match. We are leading with Jirachi right into Ozumaru. That's what I was looking for, because I know that Jirachi is doing pretty good against Ozumaru, especially if they don't have Hydro Pump. So I finally can test it, because I never played with Jirachi either. This is my first time. So Jirachi, LGM is my absolute first time, and uh, Vigorat is actually my fourth time. <laughs> That's it, that I'm using it in Go Battle League. So, it's, it, as you can see, they are pretty good. I, re I recommend this. Uh, well, not necessarily this team, because again, it's a double confusion user. If everybody's using fighters, yeah, and grass. So fighters and double grass, for example, or double grass and, and all that, yeah, I highly recommend this team. This would be awesome against it. But anyways, so at this point, I don't need to shoot because I need energy. So I'm just going to let it go and I'm going to come in and farm because this is co perfect farm range. Watch this. So we got three confusions in, which is awesome. So now we have loaded energy and let's see what comes in. And it's a best Tideon. So we're going to swap out right away and he's probably going to swap out right away as well. And this is not so bad because we can just throw body slams. We already have energy advantage because we swapped out. So we can throw a body slam. I'm just going to shield one since I have two shields and, and he's down a shield because I want to keep uh, I know that Vigorath can win this match for us as long as I keep him alive. So I'm just gonna farm down from this range. Hopefully it works out. Yep, it worked out perfect. And now I'm just best I'm gonna come back in and we are good. And I'm gonna throw the Bulldoze first because most people uh, bait first, right? Especially when you have so much energy. And I, what I realized is that if you just throw it right up front, they usually don't shield because you're like, oh, it's just a bait. And it is not. So that was perfect for us. And let's see, let's see. We have, I think, one more match. So, oh yeah, and finally reached 1,000 matches. That's pretty awesome. And, and uh, even though I just started this year, well, I mean, most people will get, get go battle league, but like Silpery and I never done before this year. Anyways, so the last match, I believe. And let's see. So Jirachi leading into Hunter. This is perfect for us. So he swaps out right away, of course and brings in Stunfisk. So this is perfect for us too, because we have Vigorat. We have an answer. And 
I was like, oh, this is just a rock side. There's no way he charged up to uh, Earthquake, and it is an Earthquake. But that's okay, because now I'm going to answer back with a Bulldoze. So I either get a shield or take it out. And perfect. So we took it out. And I figured that he's not going to shield because he has a Hunter. And usually people with Hunter keep two shields. So, because I'm going to be able to get to a Body Slam. Because I'm kind of resisting what Hunter is throwing at me with Figurat. So, I mean, not resisting, but... Uh, it's not super effective or anything. And then uh, now, it doesn't matter what I come back in with because I can farm it down. It's pretty cool. So I'm not gonna shield because I'm keeping my shield to the one and only Il GM. And then now uh, he's gonna have to shield this as well if he wanna survive or use Hunter. Yep, he's used, he saved it and he swaps out into Azumarill. So I'm hoping that I can get to a Doom's Desire and yes, I can, which is well, very well needed from at right now because we needed that chip damage, like we really needed that right now to be able to win this, but we still have two shields, so we're just farming down, farming down, we're gonna shield this of course, and then after that we're gonna have to obviously uh, make sure that we throw that rock side, but we farm out a little bit more energy just to be safe, but we still have a shield, we definitely don't want to use it because I don't know if Hunter has energy to be able to throw, but I think Hunter will just come in and go out. Yep, just like that, perfect. Alright guys, so LGM right there, cheap and gettable. So again, if you like it, if you're into that, then go after it. It's very easy to get right now, and it's pretty cheap. It's 50,050 candies, so, and also to evolve it was 50 or 25, I think 50. But anyways, it's pretty fun to use. I enjoyed it, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And don't forget to put down the Pokemons that you saw in the video in the comments to win something. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you till the next time.